Hi, I'm uh, Mr. Mohammed Javed. I'm a cosmetic uh, cons and consultant uh, plastic surgeon. Um, practice at um, Zenith Cosmetic Clinic in Nottingham. Today I'm going to um, give a little overview of um, breast augmentation or breast enhancement surgery. Uh, breast enhancement by breast implant um, or breast augmentation is a very commonly requested uh, procedure. It's uh, quite popular uh, among uh, uh, women of various ages. Uh, there are various reasons where people will seek breast enhancement or breast augmentation surgery for the reasons which are um, undermining their self-confidence uh, uh, due to the small size of breasts. Sometimes uh, patients also have an additional issue of drooping of the breast in addition to the lack or loss of volume. Uh, that can be fixed if it is uh, not as much than simply by enhancement. If there is a significant drooping, that can be corrected with the breast uplift or mastopexy at the same time. But I'm going to talk today about breast uh, enhancement. Uh, so for the purpose of enhancement, um, basically patients uh, when they attend, um, that is generally their main request. They, it's a lack of volume, an empty breast, uh, indirectly or directly affecting their self-confidence. So they are shy of um, showing their breast either in bikini or in their own um, uh, private environment or in their own bedroom. They feel uh, self-conscious about it. So how that can be corrected? That can be corrected by a surgery of breast enhancement or breast implantation um, in a majority of the cases and that involves a detailed consultation where I take history, how they feel like, what is the situation of the breast, general fitness, allergies um, and other relevant medical history. Then um, you will have your examination. Um, performed and some key measurements taken to choose for the breast implants. Uh, I normally will keep a sample of breast implant in my clinic which I will show to the patient. I also have a 5D, Chrysalix 5D system which also helps uh, creating a 5D simulation um, by that it enhances the overall consultation experience and patient can visualize uh, how the uh, appearance of breast will look like um, after having a certain size of implant. So I prepared those simulation with the various size of implants which I feel uh, I can use to, to, to get the desired result uh, out of the uh, range uh, available uh, um, for, for that particular patient. And then after that I will do uh, a detailed consultation letter summarizing um, all the consultation summary um, so that patient can understand the consultation as it is very likely that patient may forget a lot of key information. Um, as a good standard of practice I invite them for a second consultation to come and confirm to me they had fully understood everything and at the same time to provide you the opportunity should they wish to ask uh, any further question. At that point I will basically reconfirm the plan with the patient. If there is any change in plan, that will be finalized and then we will proceed for the uh, proposed procedure. So moving on to the patient's journey for the, uh, for the surgery of breast enhancement, then patient will attend the clinic for pre-assessment um, and I will see them on the day of the surgery along with my anesthetist where we will go through the consent process and making sure a patient is happy to proceed with uh, if there is any further question to ask that is the other uh, opportunity for the patient and um, the surgery for this uh, procedure of breast augmentation or enhancement um, using breast implant is approximately an hour and a half is done as a day case uh, or stay um, with the overnight facility then I will see the patient um, a week after the surgery um, for follow-up to make sure everything has gone well uh, and in a satisfactory manner and if there is any issue then I will be 
aware at that point and deal uh, with it accordingly. Um, soon after the surgery you will also be fitted with the sports bra as well and the general advice would be to keep that sports bra for about a week or so. I see the patient generally uh, three months or so uh, for final follow-up to make sure everything has settled and patient will have uh, a full contact uh, details to contact clinic anytime uh, should they have any concern any worries all the staff in the clinic will be more than is generally more than happy uh, to help advise um, and uh, make sure that there is an established uh, communication and support provided uh, to the patient after surgery. Um, as far as the implants are concerned, the implants come in various uh, varieties and various shapes. I mostly use either shaped or teardrop shape um, and implants which provide a more natural and normal um, appearance. However, some patients will have a demand for a round appearance uh, or a more fuller upper pole. In those cases, I will uh, use the round implants or ergonomics. Uh, is the another new uh, variety of uh, implants uh, which uh, can adjust the shape uh, uh, when you are lying they are in round shape and when you are up they take the teardrop shape giving you a more natural appearance uh, the implants I use they come with a lifelong warranty uh, for their integrity hence uh, you would have a peace of mind on the quality of implants